What's up, everybody? My name is T Ray, and today we're gonna make a hair mask. Ooh, cute intro music. For those of you who have known me for quite a while of time, I've always had super short hair. And for the past two and a half years now, I've been growing it out completely. So over the course of my hair growing journey, I've explored and read every article I possibly could about how to make my hair grow longer, grow stronger, uh, not have split ends. Ooh, let me tell you, I got some split ends. But anyways, so uh, going down this path, I've, I've tried biotin. I always try and eat, I eat lots of fruits and veggies and berries. Those are all supposed to be really good for your hair. But then I came along to hair masks. It's like a deep conditioning treatment and I'm always trying to find ways to strengthen my roots because I feel like every single time I brush my hair, I'm pulling out at least a few handful of strands here and there. So if I could really strengthen those roots, make sure they stay locked in, that way my hair could be thicker and more voluminous, maybe get a prettier shine to it. So in my quest to make a DIY hair mask, I was scrolling on Pinterest for just different ideas and recipes and I came across coconut oil as being a very very popular treatment and add that moisture to lock in your roots as well as contain frizz. So then just following down that link I got to a Healthline article about uh, avocados being great for your hair. Similar train of thinking. It's got all those healthy fats that are excellent for your hair and then down the rabbit hole further I went, I got to bananas in your hair. Who would have thought? Banana masks! So according to Healthline.com, uh, uh, banana masks for frizzy hair, and then continuing on, banana, banana hair masks are also good for dandruff. I'm fortunate that's not a problem for me, but good to know that it helps as well. And then it also says it's good for hair growth. To quote, antioxidants in bananas can also infuse your scalp and hair with a strong defense system and decrease oxidative stress, a major cause of hair that looks brittle and aged. Banana masks over time can lead to hair follicles that are strong and as a result grow longer. And yes, that is what I am looking for, stronger hair follicles. All right, so enough of the introduction about why bananas and avocados are good for your hair. So let's go ahead and jump in and mash these up in a bowl together and slather it into my hair. Let's, let's get started. Alright, so Jake has decided to help out since he wants to use his new knife. avocado out and dip it into the bowl and we're gonna mash it all up. together. Looks like a pretty pasty paste. And there we have it. We have our banana avocado hair mask. That's it. Two ingredients. I mean it just smells like banana. Avocados really don't have that much of their own smell so it smells good. Should I taste it? I'm scared. I mean it literally just tastes like bananas. All right, I will see you in the bathroom. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the avocado banana hair mask in my hair. And my husband is here to watch as he lurks in the background. Do you want, do you want some of your hair? No. 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 All right, so I guess I will start with sections. Let me grab some hair clips. Smell it. 
It just smells like bananas. You can taste it. Tastes fine. Yeah, it just tastes like bananas. Like, it's fine. Tastes great, actually. So I want it my roots. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. All right. Oh, it's gonna be weird. I'm having flashbacks to when I had to have mayonnaise in my hair as a kid when you got lice. Anyone else remember that from their childhood? You have to have a head full of mayonnaise when you got lice because it smelled like them all. Well, it was horrible, so I'm kind of feeling that, but all right. It's for, it's for the hair. Silky, smooth, beautiful, shimmery hair. It's all for that. I'm sorry the light keeps changing. All right. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. It's in. It's in. I guess just massage it around. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's chunky. Oh, it's weird. And not get all the banana mush properly, but it's fine. So I guess we'll work it down the roots. Oh, this is weird. This is... All right, fingers. All right, so I got like, so I guess we'll section that back. So I guess we'll just get more of the roots now. Do this side. Babe, do you want help? Put it in your hair? Yeah. Oh, I always make sure I coat it all the way. Oh, oh, it's so weird. Oh god. Oh god. I know there's like chunks of banana. I should have blended it. Oh, we'll save that for for next time. All right. Yeah, so. next time. <laughs> yeah, if there is next time. Oh, it's so weird. Join me next time. We're gonna do. So other treatments I've read about are fermented rice water. Now I've done just like rice water. I haven't fermented it before, but that worked out well. Like. I mean, it's a hair mask, right? Like, I've never ha felt the consistency of a hair mask before, but I imagine it's something like this, maybe? All right, let's flip it over. Get the other side. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I hope this brings joy and brightens your day as the world is, well, it's still, still a very rough place right now, so I'm trying to stay with the same, the same frame. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely blend it so that way it's a smoother consistency. Just, just hand mashing it didn't seem to be enough of it. Sorry, this grosses anyone out. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. All right, so we're just gonna, you know, like, do one of those. Take one of these clips. Well, at least it's staying in place. So we're just gonna clip it. All right, so it's up, out of my face. All right, it is coated with the avocado banana mixture. Definitely should have blended it. Learn that now. Yeah, at least I have to tell the camera how it tasted. Oh, your, your head tastes delicious. <laughs> Hair mask tastes delicious. There we go. Get <laughs> Oh, this, this is quite the experience. Let me, let me tell you, I've never never done a hair mask to begin with. So, you know, just, just dive right into the homemade circuit. I love making things myself. Like, crafts are fun. DIY. I think, I think I got the bathroom reasonably cleaned up. All right, so I'll see y'all in 10 minutes. I am all done. I finally got the banana mixture out of my hair. Whew, that was a process. So I started off just rinsing it uh, in the tub with just lukewarm water, like the website said. And I still had so many chunks of banana that just were not coming out of my hair. Like the avocado came out no problem, but the little banana chunks. So I ended up just uh, completely getting in the shower and tried rinsing it out that way. Got out of the shower, still banana chunks. So I was like, all right, let me just shampoo and condition it. That'll finally get it all out. Got it out of the shower. There were still banana chunks in my hair, so I did end up blow drying my hair, and then as I was blow drying, I was able to comb out those bits of teeny banana. So maybe if I had actually, you know, blended the the mixture, so it was a lot smoother in uh, one one homogeneous uh, paste rather than being kind of chunky like it was. Maybe that would have prevented that problem, because that was that was the real downfall. But otherwise, like I feel like it's added like a nice nice gloss to my hair. Um, hopefully it has strength strengthened those follicles. Like the website said it might, 
but who knows maybe it's better just to eat the banana and the avocado rather than putting it in my hair oh well well it was a lot of fun to try out so thank you all so much for watching my video the entire way through go ahead and subscribe to my channel give this video a like and comment down below if you've tried this recipe if you've tried any other diy hair mask before. I am totally excited to try out another recipe. This was fun. Like, I haven't put anything in my hair for the longest time. I haven't colored it. I really haven't tried any hair treatments before, so this was a lot of fun. I normally only do face masks, so might as well venture into hair masks. Once again, thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye!